Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, trapezoid uh, ADFP and this uh, right triangle uh, ABC put together such that uh, we get this uh, blue shaded triangle uh, CEF as you can see in this uh, diagram and moreover this segment uh, AD is uh, 3 units whereas uh, this segment uh, DB is uh, 4 and this segment uh, PF uh, is 2 units and furthermore uh, this segment uh, AD is equal to this uh, segment uh, AC and this segment uh, PF uh, is equal to this segment uh, PC and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded triangle uh, CEF please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's focus on this uh, isosceles uh, triangle uh, CPF since this side length uh, equal to this uh, side length if this side length is uh, 2 then this uh, length uh, PC is going to be 2 units as well and since this is an isosceles triangle so therefore uh, these angles are going to be 45 degrees each since the sum of all three interior angles in a triangle must be equal to 180 degrees and now we can see that this uh, triangle uh, CPF uh, is our 45 45 90 degrees uh, special uh, triangle as you can see in this given uh, diagram this is our special 45 45 90 degrees uh, triangle so therefore this side length is going to be equal to this side length so therefore this is an isosceles triangle if the side length uh, of this triangle is a then this side length is going to be a as well and this uh, longest length the hypotenuse is going to be a times uh, square root of uh, 2 so therefore uh, in this uh, triangle uh, CPF uh, this uh, longest uh, leg the hypotenuse is going to be 2 times square root of 2 by using uh, this uh, given rule and now in this uh, next step I have connected uh, this point C with this uh, point uh, D and as a result we got this uh, right triangle uh, CAD and we can see that this is our isosceles triangle uh, as well since this side length uh, equal to this uh, side length so therefore if this side length uh, is 3 then this uh, AC length is going to be 3 units as well and moreover we can see that this is uh, our uh, 45 45 90 degrees uh, special triangle as well so therefore uh, this uh, side length uh, CD which is our hypotenuse uh, turns out to be 3 times square root of 2 by using uh, this uh, rule and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole uh, straight angle is uh, 180 degrees and we know this angle is 45 degrees and this angle is uh, 45 uh, degrees so therefore uh, this angle uh, FCD turns out to be 90 degrees and now we are going to calculate the area of this whole uh, triangle uh, CDF and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to half times uh, base uh, times height and in this uh, triangle uh, CDF uh, our base is uh, 3 times square root of 2 and the height is uh, 2 times uh, square root of 2 since this our angle is 90 degrees so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so 1 divided by 2 times uh, our base is uh, 3 times uh, square root of uh, 2 times our height is uh, 2 times uh, square root of uh, 2 and now we can see square root of 2 times square root of 2 is going to give us simply 2 so therefore if we multiply and simplify the right hand side uh, that is going to give us uh, 6 uh, square units so therefore the area of this uh, right triangle uh, CDF turns out to be 6 uh, square units and in this uh, next step I have constructed uh, this uh, right triangle uh, CPQ by extending this uh, line uh, FP all the way to this point Q and likewise extending uh, 
this uh, EC line all the way to Q as well. And now we can see that this uh, right triangle uh, CPQ is similar to this uh, right triangle uh, ABC according to angle angle similarity theorem since these are our uh, vertical angles and these are our alternate uh, interior angles and these are our uh, 90 degree angles so therefore we are going to have a proportion in other words the ratio of this uh, side uh, pq and uh, this uh, pc is going to be equal to the ratio of this whole length uh, a b and uh, a c as you can see in this uh, given uh, equation the ratio of uh, p q and p c is going to be equal to the ratio of a b and uh, a c and here we can see our p c length uh, is uh, 2 our this whole uh, a b length is going to be 3 plus 4 is going to make uh, 7 and finally this AC length is going to be 3 as you can see in this uh, next step let me multiply both uh, sides by 2 to isolate uh, PQ I'm going to multiply 2 on the right hand side as well and here 2 and 2 is uh, gone so therefore our PQ length uh, turns out to be 14 divided by 3 units so therefore our this uh, segment uh, pq length uh, turns out to be 14 divided by 3 and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, pq length is 14 divided by 3 and this uh, segment uh, pf uh, is uh, 2 so therefore this whole uh, qf uh, length is going to be the sum of these uh, two numbers let me go ahead and write down 14 divided by 3 plus uh, 2 and if we add uh, these two numbers it turns out to be 20 divided by 3 so therefore uh, this whole uh, qf length uh, turns out to be 20 divided by 3 and now we can see that this uh, triangle uh, qef and this uh, other triangle uh, B, D, E are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem. Since these are our uh, vertical angles and these are uh, our alternate uh, interior angles. So therefore we are going to have a proportion. In other words the ratio of uh, D, E and E, F is going to be equal to B, D and uh, F, Q. And now we can see our this uh, BD length uh, is uh, 4 uh, units whereas our this uh, FQ length uh, is uh, 20 divided by 3. So I'm going to write down 20 divided by 3 over here. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, BD by 4 and this uh, FQ length by 20 divided by 3 at the denominator. And now we can see if we simplify the right hand side we are going to multiply 3 times 4 is going to give us 12 divided by 20 as you can see in this uh, next step and if we simplify this uh, right hand side uh, fraction that is going to be 3 divided by 5 as you can see in this uh, next step and now we can see we have uh, this uh, DE divided by EF equals to 3 divided by 5. So therefore we are going to write down uh, DE equals to 3 times some constant uh, K. And likewise uh, EF uh, equals to 5 times some constant uh, K as well. So therefore our this uh, DE length uh, turns out to be 3K and this uh, EF length uh, is uh, 5K. And now we are going to calculate the area of this blue shaded triangle uh, CEF. And now we can see that this whole uh, length uh, DF is going to be 5K plus 3K is going to give us uh, 8K. So therefore the ratio for this uh, blue triangle uh, CEF is going to be 5K divided by this whole uh, 
8 k so therefore the area of this uh, blue triangle uh, cef is going to be equal to the ratio of 5 k and 8 k times uh, the area of this uh, triangle uh, cdf and we already figured out the area of this triangle cdf uh, as six uh, square units as you can see in this uh, next step and now we can see that this k and k cancels out so therefore if we multiply and simplify the right hand side that turns out to be 15 uh, divided by 4 and that is going to be equal to in terms of decimal 3.75 square units so thus the area of this uh, blue triangle uh, CEF turns out to be 3.75 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.